What a run it's been for Wonder Wirral. A six-game winning streak has lifted us out of the relegation zone and in sight of the playoffs. And all thanks to Kevin Tonka Tonkinson. The reformed bad boy has been an inspiration. Even striker Colton Dawes has broken his goal drought by scoring what can only be described as a two-yard throater. Tonka's form is all the more remarkable when you consider that only two months ago his beloved wife was killed in a tragic llama-based incident. But the gaffer's faith in him has been rewarded as Mike Bassett picks up the Bells Manager of the Month award from England legend Jimmy Greaves. Well played. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. I've always been a big fan. Likewise. Well done, mate. Thank you. Good to hear, Tom. She's drunk half of it. Bassett's back in the driving seat, and with Tonka leading the way, anything's possible. Come on, Tom! <laughs> that lad's a diamond. He's transformed them players. Unrecognisable, boss. Not only on the pitch, Tom, but off the pitch as well. Just sit down now. We must be travelling at nearly 75 miles per hour. Bloody hell, who's that Arsene Wenger on the coach, eh? Like not with your son, it's called team spirit. <laughs> Do you know what? I can't help thinking there's a lesson here, boss. I mean, it's all very well trying to overtake another coach on the inside lane of a dual carriageway with a driver who can't see, but it does have its dangerous side. Eh, that's easy to say with hindsight. <laughs> hey, just imagine if Tonka got injured. Oh, that don't bear thinking about, boss. <laughs> hey, hey, if anything happened to him, we'd be completely stuffed. Just like Mansfield. <laughs> Well, every cloud has a silver lining. Oh, aye. Of course. Mike wasn't my first boyfriend. Back then, I dated quite a few footballers, mainly from the Leeds area, because they used to pop into the salon for a quick perm on their way to the ground. My first proper boyfriend was Trevor Cherry. Kind of apt, I suppose. Then I went out with David Harvey, the goalkeeper, till he dropped me. And then there was Peter Lorimer. Now... He could break a goalpost at 20 paces, could Peter. Broke a few bedposts as well. Still, happy days. Oh! And now, oh, you're my wonder, hero. <laughs> <laughs> We're home, love. And you know what? We won again. All right, is uh, Green's House of Ilbury Pute open for business then? I'm here for aromatherapy, actually. How about you, love? Plastic surgery? <laughs> I'm only joking. Put the kettle on, Dodgy. Right, <laughs> Six wins in a row, love, and I definitely fancy our chances against Mansfield next week. Blimey, what's he got there? Do you mind, Mike? I'm in the middle of a waxing. All right, love, keep your hair on. And you, mate. <laughs> Out! Out! We're all capped an excellent month with a 3-1 victory sealed by yet another goal for new signing Kevin Tonkinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not such good news for Mansfield, though, whose players were involved in a coach crash on the A617. Luckily for Mansfield, there were no serious injuries. However, their strike force and their... Limelight and lipstick. Give us that, Dodgy. An evening of Broadway melodies. It's just our Jason's end of year show that he's doing at college. Blimey. That sports degree course has changed since I was at Loughborough. He's not at Loughborough anymore. He's at the Liverpool School of Performing Arts. All right. Doing what? What do you think? Performing arts, of course. A little bit of acting, a bit of singing. A little bit of dancing. Dancing? Well, you know, musical theatre. <laughs> well, he likes musicals. Nothing wrong with that, boss. 
you know. He just just because he likes musicals, that doesn't mean he's, you know, some some kind of musical lover. Exactly, Dodgy. I mean, lots of blokes like musicals. Jason Donovan, a bloke from Steps. Just drop it, Dodgy. Okay. There she is, Liverpool's top beautician. Congratulations, Mike. You just managed to frighten off another bunch of my clients. Just a little bit of innocent leg pulling, love. Hey, it was better than what you were pulling at, wasn't it? <laughs> Ooh, straight down the mercy tunnel, eh, Dodsey? <laughs> Painful, boss. I'm trying to run a business. I wish you'd show me more respect. Dodsey, feet off. Sorry, Mrs. B. And you better be coming to that on Friday night. You're meant to be giving out the prize for best performer. Wild horses wouldn't drag me away, love. Hello? Yeah, he's here. It's the hospital. Hello? Oh, right, yeah. Oh, that is good news. Oh, thanks very much indeed, yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, what a relief. The chairman's come out of his coma. Hey, things are looking up, Totsy. Bloody hell, Sir Denzel. You had us worried there for a while. That was a close thing, Mark. I had one of them near-death experiences. It was amazing. I was on this pure white football pitch, bathed in this beautiful light. All the greats were there. Stanley Matthews, Dixie Dean, Tommy Lawton, Billy Wright at the back. No Bobby Moore, Sir Denzel. Didn't see him, lad. Surely you should have had Bobby Moore out there. What, why don't you drop Billy Wright? You can't drop Wright, eh? All right. Well, push him into midfield. Bring on Stuart Pearce. Stuart Pearce isn't dead. So? Hey, it's his near-death experience. Now shut up or you'll be getting one of your own. It's great to have you back, Sir Denzel. We'll save this grand old club yet, Mike. <laughs> Is there anything we can do for you before we go? Can you get me moved to another ward? This one's full of bloody Mansfield players. <laughs> All right, lads. <laughs> Just look at him, Dodsey, eh? He's pure magic. He's got more tricks than Paul Daniels in a bunco booth, boss. 14 new to the tongue, eh? Woo! Here, boss. You see that bloke over there? He's mad, you know. He's a stag has been pestering me for months. Oh, are you? Yeah. Well, yeah. pull the other one, eh? No, no, I mean it, boss. Honestly, he's got an exclusion order and everything. He's not allowed within five miles of us. Really? Yeah. All right, well, you stay here, son, and we'll call the police. Oi! Why don't you leave us alone, eh? All right, lad, we'll handle it from now on. Why don't you go and bother someone else, you bloody nut, eh? He's got a gun, boss. Tonka, look out! He's got a firearm! <laughs> Tonka! 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 Call an ambulance quick, Dodsey! Speak to me, son, come on! Speak to me! I can't hear you, son! Speak to me! I bloody love you, boss! <laughs> <laughs> You've been tugging! Classic Spike, we got it! Hey! Woo! 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 <laughs> Boss, I'd like you to meet me best mate, Spike. Your best mate, I'll kill you! Oh, no! 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 Don't kill him, we can't afford him! He's bad news, that fella, Dodgy. He's the last thing we need around here. It's a nightmare, boss. Oh, it's great to see Spike in it, boss, yeah? He's a real character. He's a real something, isn't he? Aye. What's he doing here? Oh, he's getting married, boss. Are you kidding me? Someone's marrying Nat. Aye. And this will be the big one. Fifth time lucky. Ah, oh, can't wait for the stag do at the weekend, eh? The stag do? Aye. Be a real laugh. Last time we all had to go to casualty with alcohol poisoning, he had to have a traffic corner removed from his arse. Pretty magnificent it was. Jesus Christ. Who else is coming, Spike? Oh, a guy will be there. Puga, Madhead, 
Toad eggs. Toad eggs? <laughs> Are you out of your mind? I'm not letting you go to that. But I've got to go, boss. I'm the best man. Again? No chance. I'm sorry, lad. I'm not risking you coming off the wagon. But, boss, this stag night means the world to him. His kids will be there and everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tonka. The answer's no, and that's final. But, boss, if you don't let me go, it'll do me head in. And then the demons will come back. And the darkness. Hey, stop it, stop it. Now, come on, come on. I'm going to let you go on one condition. No alcohol, no fighting, no kebabs. Boss! Now, it's either that or not at all. All right, boss, if you insist, but Spike's not going to be very happy at all about this, you know. Oh, good. You, uh, sure that's wise, boss? Don't worry, Dodsy. We'll go along. We'll make sure he keeps out of trouble. <laughs> oh, nice one, boss. We will chaperone him like a hawk. <laughs> This'll be the best Friday night you've ever had, Tonka. <laughs> Come on, love. We don't want to be late for Jason's big night. How do I look? You look smashing. <sighs> no, gorgeous. You know, it means so much to him, you coming tonight. You can't keep me away from a good musical. la la ha ha should we leave it? Oh, I better get it. Hello? Yes, yes. It's the hospital again. What's the matter? No. No. The chairman has had a relapse. Yeah, but how bad is it? I don't know, boss. I'm not a doctor. You just said phone up and pretend the chairman were ill. It's worse than 50-50. I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth, man. <laughs> no, 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 of course, no. I'll be there right away. OK, thank you. I'm sorry, love. I'm going to have to go. But what about Jason's showcase? I know, love, but it's the chairman the reading him his last rites. If this is a stunt, I'll be reading you your last rites. You're supposed to be giving a speech. I know that, love, but I'm sure you'll think of something to say. And after all, he's your son too. How's Tonka been? Is he still on the wagon? Oh, aye, boss. All he's had so far is a couple of intros. Best be careful, though, because the, uh, the paparazzi are knocking about. Oh, no, that's all we need. All right, all right. Come to water. Here's our plan for the evening. Force to snog a barmaid. Wins a pony. Yeah! First to punch a bootser, wins a monkey. Yeah! And the first to punch a pony and to snog a monkey wins a barmaid. Yeah! All right, all right. Next oh. stop, Oscars. It's happy hour, but we ain't just going to be happy. We're going to be para bloody yeah! Yeah! If he goes in there, we'll never get him out. All right, lads. If you're looking for a wild night out in Ellesmere Port, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Yeah! I always say you can't beat a pizza hut for a great time. Oh, well, man, this is rubbish. When are we going to hit the bars, Lake? Well, let your food settle. You don't want to be sick. That's exactly what I want. All in good time. I know things have started off slow, but they're soon going to hot up each other, OK? Hey. Oh, hey. Right. I've ordered maple waffles for pudding. <laughs> Meals over, lads. Let's rock this tour! Yeah! Yeah! Just a minute, son. Let's sort the bill out first, eh? Thank you. Garlic bread. You had the extra garlic bread. Oh, I thought it was you. Hang on. Rick salad. I'm sorry, love, there's a mistake here. You'll have to go through that again. Great, let's get on with it. I'll be bloody divorced when I'm not stagnant. <laughs> Tonga! Hey! Let the fun and games comment! Hey! Hey, hey, hang on, if it's fun and games you're after, I know just the place. We're not going to make a bingo, right? Just a couple of lines. We're going to get slaughtered. Come on, boys. Yeah! Here we go. Yeah, yeah, 10k. 
calibers, please, Bob. Make a pint. How oh, well, man? Get us a dozen wickets with a top off. I'm my mate to have this year. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of lint, please, pal? Actually, pet, no, you better make that a diet lint. Oh. Yeah, be on the same. Ah, yeah, deep boring way, sober one. Oh, pet. Boss, the barmaid spiking Tonka's lilt. Bloody naughty. Where are you going, Tom? Get her to your neck. Hey. I'm uh, busting for a lightly sparkling pineapple drink, eh? Uh, cheers! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Pineapple certainly hit the spot. <laughs> you all right, boss? Can't let her drop past his lips, Dottie. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Bassett. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in midair. Send in the clouds. Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? One who keeps tearing around, one who can't move. Where are the clowns? Send in the clowns. Isn't it rich? Isn't it queer? Losing my timing this late in my career. And where are the clowns? They're all to be clowned Don't bother They're here uh, Come on! Come on, I'll take the three of you now! Yes, man! I hear you, your boss, man! I think we better keep an eye on him, does he? Oh, oh we will chaperone him like a hawk, Tonka. I was just enjoying myself at the bloody thought police had to interfere. You've covered a dozen people in alcohol. <sighs> now leave it. Hey, three, three. Hey, put that camera down. Oh, no, I don't need it. Boss, he's a member of Her Majesty's press. Give me the air. To me. One more. Hey. Oh, boss, I've done me back again. Funny how we ended up in hospital after all, innit, boss? Oh, bloody hysterical, Dodgy. How's the head? Damn sight better than Tonka's back. I still can't believe he's out for the season. Still, could be worse. Look what them bouncers did to Spike. I didn't know you could get a traffic cone that far up your arse, did you? It's an uncanny talent, boss. With no Tonka to rely on, what happens to the rest of our season? I dread to think, boss. Anyway, better get home. Your miss will be wondering what's happened to you. <laughs> Let's hope she never finds out. Mm. We we'll see you later, Tonka lad, OK? Oh, 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 oh sorry, son.
Kirin? She's gone, does she? I think she might have seen this, boss. Oh, no. Shall I get some drinks in, boss? Mm -hmm.